Bambiri Zanbif Bambiri Nukbatana Bambiri Nibudiriro Bambiri Nibwarum Sangano Pasne Mandu Pambile Zanbif Pambile Kubamban Pambile Mbukuko Paslava Tengis Silaboini Comrades, since our last meeting, we lost a number of gallant sons and daughters of the soil, with the overall provincial total of the deceased read out by the Secretary General of the party. Comrade, Secretary General. These include stalwart of our war liberation the late comrade uh, Shinga Dube. In their memory and remembrance, I will invite the Central Committee to observe a minute of silence. May we all rise. May their souls rest in eternal peace and thank you. May you be seated. I am pleased to welcome you all to this Central Committee meeting convened to precede the 21st National People's Conference, which is going to be held in Vlawayo under the theme Industrialize and modernize towards the attainment of Vision 2013. This conference is defining as it marks the beginning of the third decade of convening such meetings. This is testament that ZANPF is a constitutionally entrenched revolutionary mass party with a long, rich history and a proud liberation heritage. Since establishment, the party has always championed and promoted constructive debate as well as internal democracy. We have always rejected any practices and conduct that are inconsistent with our laws and regulations outlined in our party constitution. Members here gathered, the current crop of senior leaders have the duty to carry on with that rich, deep-rooted tradition in the footsteps of luminaries and the founding fathers of our great party, ZANPF. To this end, the party constitution, as amended in 2022, stipulates in Article 6, Section 33 to 35, that there shall be a National People's Conference, and accordingly states its composition powers and functions. Guided by the spirit and letter of this legal beacon, our collective expectation of the conference must see our party image rejuvenated, motivated, stronger, more united and focused on realizing the necessary results to improve our quality of life. Zanpef in Zoe Singa Mire Kana Ichins Gua Kukura Quimba Inoramba Ichingo Famba Igongo Famba Ichingo Famba Vanobu Kura Vashukura. We remain engrossed on wholeheartedly saving the people of our beloved motherland, Zimbabwe. As architects 
and defenders of the revolution, we continue to carry the weighty obligation to provide leadership towards advancing the founding provisions of our constitution, our ideology, our principles, and our values as ZANPF. Every leader of the party, including ordinary members, must contribute and stand by the side of the party wherever they are, day and night. Our rhetoric and actions as cadres must be reflective of this reality, both during the day and the night, in the public and in the private. My dear comrades, the curtain comes down this week on the last reporting year. I applaud the Central Committee for diligently superintending over the implementation of various party resolutions, our policies, programs, and decisions. Ninokutendai Seba Tungamiri Sangan. Today, the Central Committee will receive comprehensive reports on our readiness to host successful conference. The conference agenda and program, which dovetails with the party's constitutional requirements, will also be presented. The supremacy of the party of our government is a standing principle which compels the party to supervise and oversee functions of central government. Policies, directives, programs, and projects enunciated by the upcoming conference must therefore find a place in the government plans and requisite resources allocated by government. Our meetings are not talk shows. Hence, members are aged to be mindful of the need to conclude outstanding business, including pertinent resolutions of the 20th National People's Conference and the 7th National People's Congress. My dear comrades, today's meeting will receive an update report on activities of the Commissary Department and the state of the party structures. The progress made on the restructuring exercise is pleasing in some provinces, while others need to do more to increase the pace of concluding the exercise. ZANPF members must always be educated on the importance of genuine and correct party structures starting at the lowest level, the cells and villages, moving up to branches and districts. If each level is correctly constituted, then the party has sustainable base and a solid foundation. There is need to always guard against infiltration and the waywardness within party structures. We must decisively deal with abuses and not abandon our structures. Only hidden agendas create such abuses. The solution to challenges, for example, within DCCs, is not to destroy the structure, but correct the anomalies through the strict adherence to the party constitution, its rules and procedures. As a critical decision-making body of our colossal mass partisan PF, it is incumbent upon us, the Central Committee, to ensure that all members continue to tow the correct party line. The 21st National People's Conference should serve to remind all party structures from the cell village upwards of the unstoppable nature as well as the organizational and leadership capabilities 
of our revolutionary mass party ZANPF. Comrades, at the critical stage of our national development, the importance of innovation, research, science and technology is scaling up social economic transformation. And this cannot be overemphasized. The conference theme and their court industrialize and modernize towards the Tillman Vision 2030 end of court is a call to leapfrog traditional development strategy, strategies. All sectors are challenged, therefore, to think outside the box and adopt these modern tools so that we continue to be relevant both now and in the future. Leveraging on our heritage-based education 5.0 framework, we have laid the groundwork for accelerated industrialization and modernization driven by our key national resources, innovation, research, and local solutions. I urge the party to be abreast with developments in the innovation research space, especially in institutions of higher learning. I'm aware, however, that no one has a monopoly of knowledge and innovation. As such, the party is encouraged to transmit to the grassroots the growing importance of our ongoing industrialization and modernization agenda. Our structures should be participants and not mere observers of this ongoing revolution. As we modernize and industrialize, however, let us never lose sight of our culture and identity as Zimbabweans. This is the core of who we are. Our people should learn from other nations, but our distinct identity must remain intact as Zimbabweans. Yes. Comrades, I commend the growing public and private sector collaboration in advancing our quest to realize Vision 2030 through harnessing innovation, science and technology development. True to our national development philosophy, Nika Inovakwa, Inotongwa, Inonamatirwa, Neve Nevayo. Ilizwe la kiwa, libuswe, likule kilwe, nabani kazwala. Ukabonabo kumwe bobu ya kuzotina matira. Chizwe kuta musi sivan. I was pleased to witness the growing ingenuity and the resourcefulness of our talented citizenry and the recently held Presidential Innovation Fair and Awards Ceremony, as well as the Research Council of Zimbabwe Symposium. The young people of our country, from primary education right up to tertiary level, are making great strides in embracing our clarion call as outlined in the Heritage-Based Education 5.0 model. ZANPF will continue to facilitate the development of local solutions and products to propel the growth of all sectors of our economy, ourselves. Comrades, on Friday, 25th October, we will join the rest of the region in commemorating the SADC Anti-Sanctions Day. SADC is doing this in solidarity with us. The Central Committee is applauded for supporting provinces in carrying out anti-sanctions activities. 
We are unambiguous in our calls that sanctions must go now. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rain season is now upon us. Last week, government launched the 2024-2025 Fumbudza in Tuasa program, which kickstarts the distribution of inputs for the forthcoming summer cropping season in earnest. Our communities are called upon to adequately prepare for the season as guided by our aspects in agriculture. The Central Committee report has been distributed and gives key highlights of our performance over the past year. It is pleasing that all party departments put up a fair performance with increased operational efficiency through the reorganizational departments, including the addition of new ones, as well as staff rationalization. Congratulations. The comprehensive departmental reports will form part of the primary documents to the respective sector committee discussions during the conference. We must consider the report with the view of an endorsement for subsequent adoption by the, uh, at the conference. Finally, let us strengthen our resolve to face head on the task before us of leading our own country through our own wisdom, our own culture, using our own resources and always having faith to develop, to industrialize and modernize our country ourselves, nobody else but ourselves. Through the implementation of people-centered policies and a unity of purpose, we shall continue to lift many of our people out of poverty into prosperity. Comrades, with these remarks, I wish us to now go to our agenda. I think.